let's give the um, the listeners and the viewers a concrete example of what 5G Advance might do. And let's talk, you know, talk about a particular use case. Jason, I'm going to uh, start with you on this. Uh, you know, what describe what 5G Advance might do in practice. Yeah, no, no, that's that's a very good question, and you know, uh, no better forum than uh, sharing the stage with Malik and Telefonica Germany because you know Germany has been the incubation hub for many industrials, many automotives, and many manufacturings. And you know, if we step back and think about five G and five G advance, essentially we're talking about what technology vectors or what relevant technologies can be brought in into industries and enterprises to a improve productivity. Uh, in their in their realms and B uh, provide increased worker safety uh, and C open and unlock new revenue streams for them as well right so this is now we are talking a paradigm which is much more than just setting up your data channels it could be on Wi-Fi and it's good enough right we have now talking a much broader perspectives for industries and enterprises and to to a case in point you know we uh, did a very fantastic uh, work with a port where you know uh, about the turnaround time for ships coming in and out of a port uh, was about 6 to 8 weeks and uh, uh, the turnaround time was huge because someone needs to manually go into the ship maneuver it get to the dock unload loading and so on and so forth and it's a very busy port um, and, and and you happen to have a lot of ships stacked up co2 emissions are enormous during those times so not only we are impacting the esg situations but the turnaround time and productivity and efficiency of the port really struggled and we started looking at some of these vectors which essentially will come to full life in 5g advanced rollout as we talk about automation and analytics but just this programmability aspect and taking location vectors on-demand qos vectors and having to give the power of these um, big ports of self-maneuvering these big ships as they enter and exit a port mm -hmm. and this can be all done through um, showcasing uh, capabilities with a partnership with a local port authority and local port vendors who are managing and maintaining these ports they understood the value of macro 5g network as malik was pointing out uh, less than a private wireless here so implemented on a macro private networks you have now on demand location geo positioning and qos enabling automation and autonomous driving of these large ships in and out and then a turnaround time is in hours compared to six to eight weeks. Wow. Right there is a case of a productivity use case. And, and, and the challenge for us as an industry is how do we take this to many verticals and how do we scale this up so that the relevance of a macro 5G networks comes to full life, especially behind 5G. So that, that's, that's what we are learning and seeing. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, David. Yeah, got it. That's a good uh, indicator as to where we're traveling here. Uh, Malik, just building on that, a uh, big thing in Germany, I understand, is you've got dedicated spectrum for private networks, which uh, enterprises can use, etc. So talk us through how 5G Advance might impact that market, that private network market. In fact, we've been deploying uh, the private 5G uh, networks, about uh, 12 of them in Germany already in different industries, uh, starting with Daimler and uh, uh, both on the uh, test track and also in their factory 56, uh, uh, the automated uh, car manufacturing uh, uh, you know, plant which they have. Uh, if you look, if I if I look at the last three years evolution, originally of course there is a dedicated spectrum which is in Germany specifically. Yeah. However, as we start looking at the pri the so-called private spectrum in a private campus is not going to serve the purpose. Everybody starts realizing you need a co coordination between a private wireless network with a macro network because the devices essentially you will not bring in a specific device for the campus right if you want an application to be working on a commercial device whether it's a you know a high-end device uh, from an employee or uh, or a manufacturing uh, uh, setup you need to have a significantly larger mobility perspective so the killer application, what I still see in the private 5G in the campus networks is mobility, right? And that is where I think it significantly beats the uh, ability of Wi-Fi versus a managed uh, spectrum versus unmanaged managed spectrum, right? So that's what we start seeing, yeah? So the second thing what, I, what we also start seeing is with 5G advanced, 
with network slicing, the need of a private wireless starts blurring because managing a managing a managed spectrum versus a Wi-Fi is a totally different game. You're talking about security, you're talking about data privacy, you're talking about encryption, right? And you're talking about a significant application, which are like, as Jatin mentioned, in terms of critical services, a port, car manufacturing, uh, healthcare, right? We've deployed another a private 5G in Leipzig, uh, in one of our one of our uh, healthcare uh, in hospitals, a big hospital. You start seeing the the. It's not like the way you manage a Wi-Fi. Mobility is different. So the need for us, I think people start seeing it. The need for us managing the network as harmonious uh, uh, way, not islands. And that's where I think slicing will really play a significant role. Slicing combination with edge networks, combination with managed spectrum at the campus and coordinating with the macro network is, is, a, is a holistic way to look at the, the private 5G or the campus networks kind of uh, evolution. Yeah, just so we understand that. Uh, so 5G advanced allows you to carve out a section of the public network and make it available to an enterprise with the quality of service, the programmability, et cetera, that they want. Exactly, That's exactly. And you could even go into a managed services kind of uh, uh, you know, propositions towards the customer. Because not everybody, every every corporate, every every uh, say customer has the ability to manage a, uh, a wireless network. 